Welcome back to Giga News. Today we're diving into the exciting world of robotics and exploring the remarkable journey of humanoid robots. From their awkward beginnings to their potential impact on warehouses and factories, these robots have come a long way. So let's jump right in. Eight years ago, the Pentagon's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, organized a challenging contest that showcased robots struggling to perform human tasks. The videos of their clumsy attempts quickly went viral, capturing the imagination of millions worldwide. But fast forward to today, and the descendants of those hapless robots have evolved into much more capable and graceful machines. Several startups are now developing humanoid robots that could soon find employment in real-world environments such as warehouses and factories. One such company making significant strides is Figure AI, led by Jerry Pratt, a senior research scientist at the Institute for Human and Machine Cognition. Figure AI recently announced a staggering $70 million in investment funding. Pratt explains that thanks to recent breakthroughs in enabling technologies, robots today could complete the DARPA challenge tasks in just a fraction of the time, with minimal accidents. With more advanced computer vision and power-dense batteries, humanoid robots are now capable of navigating complex environments, climbing stairs and grasping objects. The progress is astounding, as these robots can dynamically balance themselves, just like humans, even when they slip or misjudge a step. Imagine a future where humanoid robots are as affordable as cars. Brett Adcock, CEO of Figure AI, believes it's possible with enough demand and scalability. This potential breakthrough could mark a crucial moment for the field of robotics. And it's not just Figure AI. Other companies like 1X, Aptronic, and even Tesla are also betting on the maturation of humanoid robots. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, who once visited the original DARPA Robotics Challenge, now shows a keen interest in building his own humanoid robot. It seems that the necessary technologies for such machines are finally becoming viable. Boston Dynamics Atlas humanoid robots have already demonstrated the possibilities. However, their high cost and lack of autonomy have limited their practical applications. But now, companies like Figure AI and others are pushing for affordable and autonomous humanoid robots that can revolutionize various industries. Agility Robotics, led by Jonathan Hurst, a professor at Oregon State University, is taking a different approach. Their humanoid robots, with legs inspired by an ostrich, focus on physics-based locomotion. These robots are already showcasing their abilities in warehouses, autonomously performing tasks like picking totes from shelves and placing them onto conveyors. While wheeled robots are prevalent in warehouses, there are situations where humanoid robots have the upper hand. They can navigate stairs, ramps, and unsteady ground with ease, fit into tight spaces, and perform tasks that require bending down or reaching up. The market is ready for humanoid robots, according to Melanie Wise, CTO of Agility Robotics. She highlights the importance of increasing reliability, as failing gracefully is the secret to success in robotics. From their clumsy beginnings to their current capabilities, humanoid robots are poised to transform the automation landscape. As they continue to advance and refine their skills, we can expect to see them play a significant role in the industrial sector. In the realm of cutting-edge technology, scientists are pushing the boundaries of brain-machine interfaces, seeking to unlock the full potential of our minds. One of the greatest challenges they face is developing safe, efficient, and long-lasting electrodes that can seamlessly integrate with the delicate and complex human brain. However, a team led by Magnus Berggren has recently made remarkable breakthroughs that offer a glimmer of hope on the horizon. Traditionally, metal electrodes implanted in the brain have posed significant limitations and risks. The brain's soft, gelatinous texture is extremely delicate, and the use of rigid electrodes can cause damage and scarring. Additionally, the brain's constant movement and shifting further exacerbate these issues, leading to decreased electrode functionality over time. However, Berggren and his team approached this problem from a fresh perspective, aiming to create a solution that mimics the brain's characteristics. Their innovative approach involved designing a special gel that, when injected into bodily tissue, undergoes a transformative process, solidifying into a soft, electrically conductive polymer electrode. This groundbreaking technique allows the electrode to be as flexible and movable as the brain tissue surrounding it. It's akin to pouring molten metal into a mold, but with the crucial difference that the gel is biocompatible and harmless. The team's research, published in the prestigious journal Science, showcases their success in using this gel-based electrode in live zebrafish and deceased leeches. In both cases, 
the gel formed electrodes capable of carrying electrical currents. Most notably, the absence of scarring and the preservation of healthy neurons within the electrodes were observed, indicating the potential of this approach for future human applications. Of course, challenges remain on the path to fully harnessing this groundbreaking technology. Extracting signals from the brain and achieving high precision in recording neural activity are areas that demand further exploration. However, Berggren and his team are undeterred, working tirelessly to overcome these obstacles and unlock the full potential of their gel-based electrodes. These advancements in brain-machine interfaces hold immense promise for transforming the lives of individuals with neurological conditions and paralysis. Imagine a future where those who are fully paralyzed can communicate their thoughts and desires through the mere power of their minds. Soft electrodes, like those developed by Berggren's team, may not only restore limited movement, but also enable individuals to convey simple messages with a resounding impact. Moreover, the potential applications of this gel-based electrode go beyond basic functionality. By fine-tuning the gel's composition, it could be possible to target specific areas of the brain based on their unique chemical profiles. This opens up exciting possibilities for precise interventions in areas such as epilepsy, where isolating and treating the source of seizures could become a reality. As with any revolutionary scientific development, regulatory challenges and further research lie ahead. Navigating the complex landscape of medical device regulations and ensuring the long-term safety and efficacy of these gel-based electrodes will be paramount. However, the transformative potential they offer is undeniable. It is difficult to predict precisely when flexible electronic neural implants will become a reality for individuals living today. However, with each breakthrough and discovery, we move closer to a future where seamless integration between the human brain and technology becomes a tangible reality. This remarkable progress in electrode technology, spearheaded by Magnus Berggren and his team, is a testament to human ingenuity and the boundless potential of scientific exploration. In the vast realm of optical imaging, a groundbreaking technology called Spectral Volumetric Compressed Ultrafast Photography SV -cup, has emerged, capable of capturing multidimensional information in a single snapshot. This revolutionary technique opens up new avenues for observation and analysis, providing profound insights into the enigmatic realms of science and the unknown. Ultrafast optical imaging has the power to reveal dynamic scenes unfolding in picoseconds and even femtoseconds. Its applications span across various disciplines, including physics, biology, and chemistry, enabling the detection and exploration of ultrafast phenomena. While traditional pump probe-based ultrafast imaging excels in acquiring high-resolution multidimensional information, it falls short in capturing unstable or irreversible transient scenes. Fortunately, compressed ultrafast photography, CUP, based on compressed sensing and streak imaging, surpasses the limitations of pump probe techniques. CUP has garnered widespread attention due to its exceptional temporal resolution, high data throughput, and single shot acquisition capabilities. It has been successfully employed in studying a wide array of ultrafast phenomena, such as capturing ultrafast photons, observing optical mock cones, and detecting optical chaotic dynamics. For many ultrafast phenomena, understanding the spatial volumetric distribution and spectral composition of the dynamic scene is crucial to unraveling dynamic processes and exploring potential underlying mechanisms. While significant advancements have been made in ultrafast optical imaging, no technique thus far has been able to simultaneously acquire temporal spatial spectral X, Y, Z, T, and lambda, five-dimensional, 5D information in a single snapshot. However, a recent breakthrough reported in the journal Advanced Photonics brings hope for overcoming this limitation. Led by Xi'an Zhang at the State Key Laboratory of Precision Spectroscopy, East China Normal University, an international team has developed and experimentally demonstrated a spectral volumetric cup, SV cup system capable of capturing 5D information simultaneously. The innovative SV cup system combines two essential components, time of flight cup, TOF cup, and hyperspectral cup, HCUP. TOF cup extracts the spatial 3D information, while HCUP records the spatial temporal spectral 4D information. By coupling TOF cup and HCUP based on their time stamp relationship, the complete 5D information is retrieved. In experimental demonstrations, the SV cup system achieved remarkable spatial resolutions of 0.39 mm, 0.35 mm, and 3 mm in the X, Y, and Z directions, respectively.
This level of resolution enabled the reliable visualization and analysis of various 3D objects, as exemplified by a quantum dot-coded 3D mannequin. The system's field of view spans 8.8 mmx 6.3 mmx 15 mm, which can be conveniently adjusted by replacing the tube lens to accommodate different scenes. With a temporal frame interval of 2 picoseconds and a spectral frame interval of 1.72 nanometers, SV Cup delivers impressive performance, enabling 5D imaging with hyperspectral and volumetric resolution. By combining computational imaging, compressed sensing, and image processing, SV Cup introduces a novel approach to enhanced dimensionality and ultra fast optical imaging. Xian Zhang envisions that SV Cup holds the promise of providing fresh insights into research on ultra fast phenomena in physics and biochemistry. This breakthrough paves the way for a new era of optical imaging, where the complexity and dynamics of the world can be captured and understood with unprecedented detail. So, if you found this discovery as fascinating as we did, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Let us know what you found most exciting about these groundbreaking achievements. Stay tuned for more amazing technological advancements.